Hey, Bo here, and today I wanna to share the two biggest reasons I see that keep creative, intelligent people from prospering financially and from really uh, making the impact that they want to make on the world and from having the life that they want to have. And I wanna talk about this because it frustrates me a little bit. I see so many creative, intelligent people that have so much potential, so much value to offer the world. But because of these two things, they stay stuck. They never build the business they want. They never make the amount of money they want. They never have the impact on others that they want to have. They're never, never able to do the things that they want to do in life because of these two things. And these are really simple fixes, but it's going to take some work. So the first thing you have to realize is that as a creative person, as, a, as an intelligent person, as someone with value to offer the world, you have to realize that it's not, enough, it's not enough to just be good at what you do. It's not enough to just have a passion for something because other people don't really care. What other people are thinking is, is, is what can you do for me, right? So creative people are often selfish in a way because they're only thinking about how they can do more of what they love to do, how they can make a living from doing what they love, right? And it's not a horrible idea, but it's a little bit limited because you have to put yourself in other people's shoes. If you want to prosper financially and offer value through a business, you have to put yourself in other people's shoes and realize that they don't care what you want. They care what they want. Okay, so you have to figure out how to turn your intelligence, your creativity, your knowledge into something that people will actually want, something that people will actually pay for, right? So you need to switch your thinking and start thinking not from your own self, but put yourself into other people's minds and start thinking about how do they think? What are they thinking about? What are other people desiring? What problems do other people have that need solving? How can I turn what I know into something that solves a problem for someone else, okay? So business is all about serving others. It's all about serving others. And if, if you're only focused on doing what you love and just doing things your way, and you're not humble enough to open yourself to a life of service to others, then you're probably going to remain the starving artist. You're probably never going to build a business that really has a, has a big impact. You're never going to have the financial abundance you want. And you're probably going to be stuck working a nine to five job for the rest of your life. And if that's okay with you, then that's cool. I'm not saying there's, it's right or wrong here, but if, if, if you really want more for yourself, you have to open your mind to these new different ways of thinking. So that's one side of it. It's, thinking too much about yourself, not thinking about how you can help others. So it's, it's uh, being a little too self-centered, right? And the other thing is also sort of on the same page as this is being creative, being good at what you do isn't enough if you don't understand business, marketing, uh, financial things, how to manage your money, how to manage your time, how to be a productive person, how to overcome insecurities and things like that. Um, but let's just keep it simple for this video. Uh, really what I want to talk about is how creative people need to focus more on business, marketing, advertising, copywriting, learning these skills that are necessary to get value out of you and into the hands of others and to make what you have desirable to others and make it something that they will actually pay for, right? That's the skill of business, the skill of marketing, the skill of sales, right? So think about how can you solve a problem for others and think about how can I master the skill of business, okay? This is why, this is one of the biggest reasons why creative people fail is because they just, they, they spend most of their time stuck in their head thinking about all the creative ideas they have, right? And that's okay part of the time, but a lot of the time you also need to be focusing on how you can distribute that creativity, how you can package it, how you can scale it through a business so that your knowledge, your wisdom, whatever, can benefit other people right? It's, it's just going to stay stuck in your head and you're never going to help other people with what you have, with what you're good at, if you don't do it through the vehicle of a business. I mean, there are other ways, but business is by far the easiest 
way to scale something to the masses and to help more people than you ever could most other ways, right? So business is a very unselfish thing, actually. People tend to think that pursuing more money through a business is a selfish thing to do. But it's really the, one of the least selfish things you can do um, because by, by, by doing that through a business, you're able to actually help more people than you could otherwise, right? So it, it really depends how you think about it. Yeah, it could be a selfish thing if, if you're a selfish person and you just care about getting money or whatever for yourself and you don't care about helping others. But if you are a good person with a good heart and you do want to help others and you're not super greedy or selfish, then business can be one of the best things that you ever do for yourself and for others. Um, and I, ha I have a little story to tell about a business that I helped build last year with my uh, fiance. And we, we had this idea and we had this thing that we wanted to offer the world. And it was just an idea, right? And we didn't really expect much to come of it, but we pursued it for an entire year. And that idea got into the hands of thousands and thousands of people. Over 100,000 people heard the message that we had. Over 4,000 people bought the product that we created um, to help them solve a certain problem in their life. Over 4,000 people were directly impacted and inspired enough to actually give us money for what we had to offer. And it just started with an idea. And if we would have just stuck to ourselves and just sat around thinking about how smart we are because we have this good idea and we have all this knowledge and we're so good at what we do, if we just sat around and sat in that self-centeredness, that would be 4,000 people in just the past 12 months alone that would not have benefited from that idea, from that knowledge that we had. That would be over 100,000 people that would have never heard of our business, of our message, of our idea, right? So if you think about it that way, you know, you are withholding things, value, knowledge, wisdom from other people if you don't pursue that thing that you want to do and you don't, if you don't learn how to turn it into a business and scale it in that way, then you're actually in a way doing a disservice to other people. You're withholding the thing that you know could help others. You're withholding the thing that other people need. Other people are sitting around waiting for someone like you to come into your, to their life and to talk to them in the way that they need to, to hear something and to offer the, the product that they've been waiting to buy, the thing that's going to help them get to the next level in some certain area of their life, the thing that's going to add a little bit of joy into their life, that's going to make that little shift in their life that they need to make, that's going to plant that seed in their mind that they need to be planted. And by you not pursuing the thing that you know you need to do, by you not mastering business and marketing and advertising and these things, by you sitting around being selfish, you are withholding the gifts that other people need. And I really want you to, to hammer that home, that home and realize that it's, it's different than you probably think it is. You might think it's selfish to pursue these things, but it's actually selfish not to pursue those things. It's selfish to sit around just thinking that you're good at what you do, thinking you're so smart, but not ever trying to help others with what you know, with what you have to offer, with who you are. Just your presence is enough to make a difference in this world, right? So it's, it's a rare type of thinking that you need to have to be successful in this world and to really live a meaningful, fulfilling life, both spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and financially. To have the best of all worlds, it takes a very uh, rare type of thinking, a, a rare attitude, but that can be developed, it can be cultivated. You just have to make the decision to go down that path and start walking that path today. So stop waiting around 
Stop sitting around thinking, how can I do what I love all the time? And how can I have more comfort in my life and, and pleasure? And how can I avoid pain? And you know, you have to stop avoiding the things that are uncomfortable for you. Yes, it's gonna be uncomfortable to go put yourself out there, to go do something that very few people are willing to do. It's gonna be uncomfortable. But to me, what's more painful is going through my life and then looking back and realizing that I didn't do what I know I needed to do, that I didn't make a difference in people's lives. That's more painful than, you know, just doing a few things, you know, building a business and getting outside of my comfort zone occasionally. You know, making this video right now like this isn't entirely comfortable for me. It's not. But I'm willing to go through those, these things and, and learn through trial and error and try new things and practice and take action. I'm willing to do these things because I know that the benefits far outweigh any of the pain, the temporary discomfort, right? And I know that it would be much worse if I didn't pursue these things. I know that my future would not look the way I want it to look, right? So uh, I guess I'm starting to ramble on in this video, but just to quickly recap, the biggest things holding creative, intelligent people back is one, they're too selfish. They're too focused on what they want and not thinking about what other people want and what other people need. And then two, creative people, they're stuck in their, their creative life and they do the creative things that they like to do, but they don't learn the most important skill of all, maybe uh, at least one of the most important skills, which is business, because business helps you scale value to the masses. It helps you take something that's good for others and get it into their hands. And at the same time, you benefit from it as well. So those are the two things. Stop being so selfish and start learning business and marketing and really dedicate yourself to those, okay? That is what you need as a creative person to turn, that creative, turn your creative ideas into an income that give you what you want and make a difference in the world so you can feel good about making your money. You can feel good about what you're doing in the world because you're creating a win-win situation. You win, the world wins, everyone wins. You feel good about your life. You can look back when it's all over and you can say, I lived a good life and I did what I needed to do. Needed to do. So that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.